this problem is common characters so uh, given two strings return a string so return a string made up of common characters between the two strings All right so if the string let's say s1 is a b c d and the string s2 is a z x c then the result would be the common characters between the two in a string form which is let's say a and c there is another condition that if the character is already found bit common between the two strings then do not add it again in the resulting string so basically this example so if you have let's say this string a a a b and then a a c then the answer is still a and not two a's all right so we need to solve this problem it's a simple problem but i'm going to uh, give you multiple approaches to solve this let's begin with the most basic one all right so let's take the two strings that we have an example all right so the sorry the first string is a b c d and the second string is a z c x let's say this is the example then the most basic approach would be to pivot on one of this character in the string and then scan the whole of this string to see if that character is found if that character is found then we can add it to an answer string let's just call it result or you can call it answer as well which we can initialize with an empty string and let's say for a we are going to scan this whole string and we notice that a is found here so we'll just add a to this result string then we will pivot on here b and scan all of the string again b is not here so nothing to do then we're going to pivot on c and scan the whole string again c is found so we add the c to the string so that's the that's one approach let's write the code for it you will notice that there is already some skeleton code here i've written some boilerplate items so if the name is equals to main then these are the test cases so this test case is basically is a list containing tuple and each tuple has two strings in it so this is the tuple number 1 tuple number 2 and tuple number 3 so each of them have two strings i'm going to iterate over this string uh, this list so say let's say the string 1 and string 2 is tuple 0 and tuple 1 for t in test cases and then i'm just going to call the common characters function with the two strings and compare the results and this is our common cares function so def common cares string 1 and string 2 Let's run this code right now, and make sure that this is like that. So you have A B C D A Z X C. This right now is returning none because we are not doing anything. But let's write code here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to begin by initializing an answer string. Let's just call it an answer string, okay? And that is I'm going to initialize it with as an empty string. Now I'm going to systematically go for all the characters present in the string 1 if i want to iterate over each character present inside the string then i can just write a simple loop like for x in s1 so now x will hold all of the characters in s1 one by one but for each of this x i want to also check all of the characters present in s2 so i'm going to write another for loop within this first for loop to say for y in s2 now we can compare the character x and y so when i write these two loops first x will be a and then y will take the value all of these characters so when y becomes a at that point we know that these two are equal and we can add it to the result and we don't need to later on check anything but however when x is let's say b then first y will be a then it will be uh, z then c then x it will have to iterate for the whole string but we will not find the result so let's go back and write the condition so if x equals equals y that is if the two characters are equal then the answer plus equals to that is we want to whatever the answer is we want to append to that answer the character here is 
x and in the end we just return the answer now this solution is going to generate incorrect results and we will see right now when we run it so for the first one the test cases were such that luckily we got the correct answer but for the second one you notice the condition said that if the characters if we if we only have we only have to report the common character once and we are repeating re, uh, doing it this again and again so what we need to do is we need to have a mechanism in place which at each iteration step checks whether a particular character is already present in our uh, if already present in the result or not if it's present in the result then we do not need to continue our search all right so i'm going to add a check here okay if you add check in a different place you you can try on your own when you do but you might not get the correct answer but let's okay i'm going to add a check here i'm going to say if x is already present in answer that is if x is already present in answer then basically uh actually i'm going to do the inverse of it if x equals equals y if this condition is true and x not in result if x equals to equals to y and x is already not in result right then do this otherwise don't do it let's run this code and what happened oh my mistake i chose the wrong value answer not result basically the error was that no nothing called name uh, nothing called result in this uh, solution here so now you will notice this is working fine you may argue that i could have placed this check above the this here that might not have worked okay and i mean even if i would place it there i would still need to place that check here in the second place so that is a simple solution basically you're doing this but look at the number of comparisons that we are doing here okay the number of comparisons is basically for each of these character in s1 we check all the characters in s2 so if the correct string length is if, if s1 is length m these are n characters and let's say these are n characters then for each of the m characters we check n characters that means total m multiplied by n comparisons we have to do we can do little better than this let me give you an approach number 2 okay so i'm going to write another function common cares and i'm going to name it at as v2 okay s1 and s2 are two parameters okay this time instead of okay let me just clear this clear this real quick all right so let's take the two strings again suppose the first string is a b c and d and the second string is a z c and x what i can do is instead of having having a nested for loop what we can do is we can feed this character inside a set or a dictionary doesn't matter but let's do it in, inside a set so when we feed it inside the set this will become a b c and d then we can iterate over this string to check if that character is present in the set if yes then we just add it to the result string or better yet we can just compare it we can just make this into another set which will be a z c e and then we can just intersect the two sets to give us the answer let's try this okay let's i'm just going to use terminal real quick to do this for you so let me increase the font a bit suppose this s1 equals to a b c d and s2 equals to 
A C Z X. Then I can easily con make a set by saying S one. Let's say I'm going to say uh, set one equals to set of S one. So that that brings me gives me a set. The good thing about set is that it's going to take care of the duplication because set is only set will is only going to contain distinct element. It will not contain repeated elements. So if I have let's say a string like this, and I'm going to make a set from it, then it will only result in one character. So what I can do is here I can just simply have the two sets. Okay, I can say uh, let's say set one equals to or I can just write like something better. Cars one equals to set of s one, and then cars two equals to set of s two, and then I can just say answer equals to set one intersection. Sorry, set one intersection set. So that will give me the common characters between the two sets, and then finally I have to, I can let's say let's just return for example the answer, like that, and let's run this code. Let's just say common cares v two. Let's run this, and then you will get these are the two strings and these are the two strings. So this is the sorry. This is the solution number one. This is the solution number two. Although there is a problem that you notice that the order is not preserved. If you want the order to be preserved, then you will have to use a specific third approach in which you only cast first one to the set and the second one you not. So that you can do. And let's say if you can cast it back to string by doing str of this. If is this possible? Let's check. Otherwise, we can convert it to a list. Yeah, so basically this is just a string in this way. So what we can do is maybe we can just convert it to a list first, and then, or maybe we can just form. A, let's do a simple way. So I can what I can do is I can just create a string. Result equals to an empty string, and then I can just iterate over this character for x in answers. Result plus equals to X and then return result. That's one simple way of doing it, and then you get the answer like that. Or you can use maybe let's say let's say the join works. I don't know if th if that will work, but let's just try it. Okay, so let's. We can say this empty string dot join anything that is an answer, and then return it. Let's see if this works. It does work. Okay, so that's good. But however, notice certain things that uh, this is inverted because once again, set is not an ordered collection, so it might store your string in any form. So you may not get the correct order. But I mean, that's not the problem at the moment. Problem is to re return the common characters. So this is a correct answer in this case. All right, thank you.